Betty, and this is Everyday Jesus, a program specially made for you wonderful kids because we know you love to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God. Now, can you do it with Pastora? Let's say to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God. Awesome job, kids. So to begin, we will start with a prayer. So can I see your prayer magnets? Yes! And let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day that you have given us. I pray that you will give us wisdom and understanding so that we will be able to apply all of the things that we will be learning today. We love you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen! He's the best! So right now, let's all stand up and let's worship with Everyday Jesus! Let me see. 
our praise and worship time with Pastor Spam and Gary. And I also know you know what time is it, right? It's our Bible story time. So please get your Bibles, your notebooks, and of course, your favorite pets. And once you have them all with you, can you help Pastor remember our rule time for today? Rule number one, hands behave. Rule number two, eyes watchful. Rule number three, ears listening. And rule number four, mouth silent. Great job, kids. Now for our Bible story for today, we will be opening our Bibles to Genesis chapter 21 verses 4 to 7. Now kids, can you please get your Bibles and open it to Genesis chapter 21 verses 4 to 7? And let's read. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac when he was eight days old, as God had commanded him. Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born to him. And Sarah said, God has made laughter for me. Everyone who hears will laugh over me. And she said, Who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse children? Yet I have borne him a son in his old age. Wow! Amazing Bible story, right kids? We have seen that even in old age, Abraham and Sarah received a son from the Lord and they named him Isaac. Now kids, from the story, we will learn what should be our attitude when God fulfilled his promises to us. Just like Abraham, he continued to live in, oh, obedience to God. Now, for example, kids, your mommy or your daddy already gave you your reward because they promised to give you one when you get high grades in school. What should you do? Yes, after getting the reward, you must continue in doing well in your studies and should not say, Yes, I have my reward already, so I will no longer study. Na -a -a. Remember kids, when promises are fulfilled, we need to continue to live in obedience so that more blessings will come. Now kids, can you follow Pastora in these very simple action words? Can we say, continue to live in obedience? Can we do it again, kids? Can we say, continue to live in obedience? Now, can we do it the last time? Can we say, continue to live in obedience? Good job, kids! So right now, you know what time is it, right? It's our question and answer time. So please get your notebooks and of course, your Pins. And you can always write down the correct answers so that once we're back at Children's Church, we can give you extra tickets for every correct answers. So, are you ready? Yes! Great! So now let's go to our question number one. Who received a son from the Lord even in an old age? Who received a Son from the Lord, even in an old age. Got that, kids? Good job. So now let's go to our question number two. True or false? When promises are fulfilled, we must continue to live in obedience. True or false? When promises are fulfilled, we must continue to live in obedience. Got that, kids? Awesome! So now let's go to our question number three. Fill in the blank. Continue to live in blank. Continue to live in blank. 
Done? Very good job, kids! So right now, let's go to our question number four, which is, of course, our application for today. Kids, always remember that when God fulfills His promises, our right response is to live in... Oh, what's that word, kids? Obedience. Very good. Obedience to His commands. Why? So that more blessings will come in our lives. So I think that's it for our Bible story for today, kids. And I hope you learn a lot. We'll see you again next time, kids! Hi, kids! This is Pastora Jai. And today, I have with me Kuya Vito. Hi! And Ate Kisha. Hi! They're gonna be helping me sing. So today, we're gonna be talking about foundational truths about God by singing to you songs. Now, today we're gonna be singing to you a very, very different children's song. Kuya Vito, what did you just eat? Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Well, actually, we're gonna be talking about fruits. So, we're gonna be talking about fruits that did not come from trees, but we're gonna be talking about fruits that came from our lips. Did you know? What? That the fruit of our lips is praise. Can you say it with me? Praise. 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 Say it with me. What? Okay. Praise. praise. The fruit of our lips is praise. praise. So what we are going to sing to you today is the fruit of our lips is praise. praise. Let's sing it. Another fruit? Apple. Apple. Let's try apple, okay? One, two, three. Just like an apple tree. Just like an apple tree. Produces apples. Produces apples. And a grapevine. And a grapevine. Produces grapes. Produces grapes. Now God made me to bear fruit to the fruit of my lips. Tree. Orange tree. Orange tree. That's right. Let's sing it. One, two, three. Just like an orange tree. Just like an orange tree. Produces orange. Produces orange. And a grapevine. And a grapevine. Produces grapes. Produces grapes. Now God made me to bear fruit to the fruit of my lips. Now, another tree. Pomelo. Pomelo tree. I think that's the last tree. Yeah. Let's try it. Maybe. One, two. One, two, three. Just like, like pomelo, pomelo tree. Just like pomelo tree. Produces pomelo. Produces pomelo. And a grapevine. And a grapevine. Produces grapes. Now God made me to bear. for our song for today. See you again, kids! Bye-bye! Hi, kids! I'm Pastor Mikey, and this is Good Kid Tips, where you will learn tips on how to be good kids because Jesus wants you to be good. And all the good kids say, Amen! Amen! Today, we will learn a tip about being good kids from our Bible story. Yay! And here's our good kid tip for today. Good kids receive joy from God. In our Bible story today, we learned that Abraham and Sarah were filled with joy because God fulfilled His promise for them. Did you know kids that we can also receive joy from God? 
That is right. Let us open our Bibles and read Psalm 40 verse 4. Oh, the joys of those who trust in the Lord, who have no confidence in the proud or in those who worship idols. Wow! Did you see that, kids? When we trust and put our hope in Him, we will receive joy. Do you know why? That's because God is faithful and He is a promise keeper. So when God gives you a wonderful promise like what He did for Abraham and Sarah, we can be sure that we will be filled with joy in the end because God is faithful and He is a promise keeper. Now, why don't we watch some of our friends show us what to do when we are filled with joy? Wow! Did you see those kids? All of our friends who were filled with joy from God did many things to show God how joyful they were. One friend of ours worshipped God by singing and dancing. Another friend of ours praised God in prayer. With a very big smile on his face, he thanked God for all of his promises. And speaking of promises, did you know that one of God's promises in the Bible is found in Jeremiah 29 11? It says there, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Wow! Did you hear that, kids? God has wonderful plans for you and me. And His desire is to give us a hope and a future. We can have this hope because we have a relationship with Him. You might say, Pastora, how would I know if I have a relationship with Jesus? It's just simple. You just need to receive Him in your life as your personal Lord and Savior. And that is what we will be doing right now. If you want to receive Jesus in your life as your Lord and Savior, can you follow Pastora in this simple prayer? Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for your great love for me. I admit that I have sinned and I ask for forgiveness for all the wrong things that I have done. Starting today, I receive you in my life as my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for you will help me to be a good kid. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen! Wow! Awesome, kids! You now have a personal relationship with the Lord. And because you are now a child of God, all of His wonderful promises will be fulfilled in your life. I hope you learned a lot from our good kid tip today. Remember, God wants you to be good so you can praise your Father in heaven. See you again next time! Hi kids! I'm Aunt Casey. Today we are going to learn a new dance. Our song for today is entitled, The More. May I invite you to stand up? One, two, three! Very good! We will be learning the chorus part of the song. The steps goes with the lyrics, and the more you show me, the more you grow me, the more your glory becomes all there is. Ready? Five, six, and the more you show me the more, you grow me the more. Your glory becomes all there is. One more time. Five, six, and the more. You show me the more. You grow me the more. Your glory becomes all there is. For the next part, the steps goes with the lyrics. And the more 
I know you. The more I need you. The more I love you. The more you become to me. Ready? And five, six, and the more I know you the more. I need you the more. I love you the more you become to me. One more time. Five, six, and the more I know you the more. I need you the more. I love you the more you become to me. Let's do it from the top. Five, six, and the more you show me the more. You grow me the more. Your glory becomes all there is. And the more I know you the more. I need you the more. I love you the more you become to me. Now, let's do it with music. Did you enjoy that, kids? And you did a great job! Psalm 149 verse 3 says, Praise His name with dancing, accompanied by tambourine and harp. Let's dance as we worship the Lord together! Hi kids! I'm the prayer for Azinka. In our Bible story this week, we have learned that God fulfills His promises to Abraham. So, we're going to make a tent, the match of our stories. If you're ready, let's get started. For naughty else, we need brown or orange paper, a white paper, color pencils or crayons, pen, scissors, the top of the coil paper like this. This is our guide. Then, fold the two sides towards the center like this to make a triangle. Next, fold the bottom part of the paper. Then, fold inside the two corners of the bottom of the paper like this. Write our verse on one side of the triangle. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Genesis 18 verse 14 Then open the triangle and glue the lower part of the triangle to the bottom part of the paper.
bottom so they can stand inside the tent. Now, pull the pot up and glue on the tent. You may also draw or add decoration like stars if you want. We're done! Yippee! They have it! Our bear on adding cup, Wesley Metam! Remember that God fulfills His promises! And this time is the best! Till next time! Bye! Hi kids! This is Pastora Armira. Are you ready to learn a new memory verse song today? Yes, our verse for today is Romans 6, 23. Repeat after me. Say Romans 6, 23. Very good. And the song goes something like this. For the wages of sin good kids did you enjoy that song i did too well that's it for a memory verse song today this is pastora armira see you again next time welcome back kids so i hope you enjoyed our episode for today so right now it's our prayer time do you still remember our three prayer requests yes first we will be praying for our government and church leaders alike that God will give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. Second, we will be praying for your families, that God will always keep them safe, and that God will always bless the work of the hands of your parents. And third, we will be praying for you, wonderful kids. What do you want Jesus to do for you? As for us, you know, our prayer request for you always is that you will continuously grow in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord, you will always be productive, and you will always be a blessing to the people around you. So are you ready to pray? Yes! Let's have our prayer magnets, and let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all of the things that we have learned today. Right now, we pray for our government and church leaders alike, that God, you will give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. Lord, we also pray for our families, that you will always keep them safe, that you will keep them away from all kinds of sicknesses and harm, and that you will always bless the work of the hands of our parents. And Lord, right now I pray for these wonderful kids, that you will continuously make them grow in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord. They will always be productive in everything that they do, and that they will always be a blessing to the people around them. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen! He's the best! So that's it, kids, for Everyday Jesus Today. We'll see you again next time!